Hi guys, this Oliver and Spider-Man No Way Home has been released at the movie theaters again but with uh, 11 minutes uh, of new scenes from the movie and uh, I, back in December when this movie first came out I loved this movie, it was really good uh, I watched the movie three times at the movie theaters uh, it was awesome, and, and and I watched it with my best friend Sixten, and now and, and then yesterday, um, the, this movie was released in theaters again, and I watched it with my best friend Sixten, which was a lot of fun, and uh, I I still feel the same way. I think No Way Home is really good. I love Spider Man. He's my favorite superhero. There were some new scenes. I feel like the highlight of watching, watching No Way Home uh, if yesterday was re-watching the movie, of uh, uh, watching No Way Home, because I love No Way, Spider-Man No Way Home, it's a really good movie, but if you are if you have like a busy sk uh, schedule and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, I have to watch Spider-Man No Way Home again, uh, nope, don't, uh, because it's like, uh, it, it's not worth watching, spending much money uh, to watch it at the movie theaters with just a little bit of new footage. And uh, uh, for the new scenes, I think it was were really good and really funny. Uh, but I don't think that it's worth spending so much money to, to go to the theater to watch the same movie again, but with like uh, some scenes. It was it definitely lived up, lived up to the title. More fun stuff edition. Uh, and my favorite new scene from the movie was uh, for the scene with uh, there was a scene involving uh, Tom Holland's brother, and he was like a bank robber who who stole someone's purse, and then Spider Man showed up and then tied him up, so he was hanging upside down, and he was just hanging there. And then uh, people, other people were like talking, oh, if you're if you're too too young to be a superhero, because everyone knows his identity and stuff like that. I love that scene. That scene was awesome. I don't know why they cut that scene out from the theatrical cut when the movie came out in, in December, but I think I'm happy we've finally seen the full scene. I remember in in the beginning of 2021, we saw some like a picture of Tom Holland and his brother on, on set, behind the scenes from that scene. And then that scene wasn't even in the movie, so now this movie, this scene being released, that I'm happy about that. That was a really good scene. And another scene I really liked was for the scene, there was a new scene uh, from the movie when uh, all, uh, all all the villains were in, in an elevator and that's basically it, just them uh, for a while and it was really funny, it put a big smile on my face I'm surprised how much I laughed My biggest complaint with Spider-Man Away no Home Director's Cut More Fun Stuff Edition which was that uh, the, there was a deleted scene from Spider-Man Away no Home where if you saw uh, William Defoe's Green Goblin and uh, uh, Tom McGuire Spider-Man having their epic rematch, the rematch of the century, and you, uh, I saw that in behind the scenes pictures, uh, like like this one, which then that well, after wa walking out of the theater, like that scene wasn't even in this director's cut. Like why wasn't that even in the movie? Why wasn't that in the theatrical cut? And now now finally a special edition with. Uh, uh, when new scenes added in, like why wasn't that in? And there was like a scene when uh, Ned's girlfriend, uh, she was like the news lady, she was talking and interviewing everyone about P uh, Spider Man's secret identity. And uh, I think that was a really funny scene, but I just think that that scene went f uh, went on for way too long. Like that, that it's like it's really funny and uh, and some of that, but then it just went on and on and. Like, haha, very funny, I get it, like, move on, like, we, like, uh, please uh, let us have uh, William Dafoe, Green Goblin, and Tommy Quarry Spider-Man fighting again, like, uh, on the big screen, like, why, why are you showing us, like, uh, this really long scene, and when we watch this, but I, I do think that scene was, was pretty funny, and I really like when, uh, when uh, F F Ned was in that interview and then he was talking to his, his ex-girlfriend because they broke up at the end of Far From Home so now then them talking and that was pretty funny there, there was another new scene added in to this extended cut of the movie was uh, there was a scene when uh, I think that they were in Doctor Strange's basement Ned, uh, MJ and uh, Spider-Man 
and uh, then they, they were like uh, they, they messed everything up and uh, I think the, the table was falling and then it was like a miniature of Sanctum Sanctorum and that, that was pretty funny and, and I loved the music that was playing in the background during that scene that was epic and awesome Spider-Man Over Home uh, Extended Edition I think it, it was pretty good I think most of the new scenes that we got um, uh, I understand why, why they cut those scenes out but I'm I'm a little bit disappointed that we we didn't get uh, William Dafoe, Green Goblin, and Toby Spider-Man having the rematch. But I I'm still I think the highlight of yesterday was to rewatch No Way Home on the big screen again. I feel like that was the highlight of this. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, I think it was fun rewatching No Way Home again. I haven't watched it in a long time since I watched it the last time with Sixten, so it was fun rewatching it with Sixten again. Uh, back when I first watched Spider-Man at Home, one of my favorite scenes of the movie was uh, for the scene when Willem Dafoe, Green Goblin, and uh, uh, Tom Holland and Spider-Man uh, were fighting each other. The fight between Tom Holland and Spider-Man and William Dafoe's Green Goblin was so epic and awesome. It was well, well choreographed, well shot, and uh, they fought twice. They fought two times. And both of those fights was were epic and awesome. I loved the fight in, in the apartment first. That was epic and awesome. And I love Green Goblin's laugh. And when I love when he he's like when Tom Holland Spider Man is, is hitting him in the face, and then he he's like laughing like creepy creepy laugh. It reminds me a lot of, of the Joker. William Dafoe is such a great actor. I mean, really, he is. And uh, yeah, when they fought each other again at the end, uh, that uh, it was really cool. And I love that he used his, like, f uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man used his, like, punching, fighting uh, skills, uh, epic skills and moves from, I believe, the P PS4 Spider-Man video game. So that was really cool. That was a neat Easter egg. That was really cool. Anyways, guys, that's it for my movie review of uh, Spider-Man No Way Home Extended Edition. Uh, now I'm gonna build some Legos. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Boo!